How do we begin solving this equation? Remember to go through your steps. There are no fractions here. There are parentheses, so let's multiply by using the distributive property. That's 3 times y, which is 3y, minus 3 times 4 is 12, and then plus y is equal to 2 times 6 is 12, plus 2 times 2y, that's 4y. Do we have any like terms that we can combine on either side of the equation? The answer is yes, 3y and y, that's 4y, minus 12 is equal to 12 plus 4y. Now let's continue by moving variable terms to one side of the equation, constants to the other, and it makes no difference what goes on what side, but I'll just move variable terms to the left side. It's just a habit for me. So I will subtract 4y from both sides. So here's the left side of my equation. I'll leave a little space. Here's the right side of my equation. And now I will subtract 4y from the left side, and I must do the same thing on the right side. Now watch what happens. 4y minus 4y, that's 0y or 0, and I have negative 12 is equal to, this subtracts out also, and I have simply 12. When all your variable terms happen to subtract out and you end up with a false statement, such as we have here, this is a false statement, that means that there is no value for y that will make this a true statement. So what is your answer? Your answer is no solution or you can use the empty set notation, but this original equation has no solution. You might have seen it up here when we have 4y minus 12 is equal to 12 plus 4y. No matter what value, what real number I replace y by, 4 times y, then subtract 12, will never equal 4 times that same y added to 12. But if you didn't, this will work out for you. This equation has no solution.